I've been delivering the Grief Recovery Personal Workshop for almost 25 years now, and it is a great joy for me because I watch people on Friday morning when they come in, and I see where they are. And then I see them Sunday afternoon, and the transformation happens that it probably almost sounds impossible. It's really almost impossible to explain, but, but when people are given a safe environment and better information, uh, it's like, they don't lack willingness or even eagerness. They've just never had that combination of environment and better information, and boy, do they fly. The Grief Recovery Method Personal Workshop is really educational in that we are giving grieving people information that they do not have and then we are wrapping a little blanket of emotional safety around them and holding them by the hand as they utilize that information for the first time. It is so connective. One of the things that happens, they go to a different mode of honesty than they ever knew they had. Not that they were ever dishonest, but they get down in a layer. It kind of can clear out cobwebs you almost didn't know you had. We start walking through this process of identifying what is emotionally incomplete, showing them exactly how to complete it, and then watching a, a 500 pound weight be lifted off of their neck. On page 16 and 17 of the Grief Recovery Handbook is a section called, Is It Ever Too Soon to Recover? And part of it is kind of humorous. It asks this question. If you fell down and tore your leg open and the blood was gushing out, would you immediately seek medical attention? Yes or no? It says it just that way, right in the book. The obvious answer is yes. Then it asks this question. If circumstances and events conspire to break your heart, should you seek attention for that right away or should you bleed to death emotionally? Pick one. Now, the reality is it's never too soon to recover. And here's a, another interesting point. In the days and hours and weeks immediately following a death or even a divorce, your memories of that relationship and of that person will be the most keen and most accurate than ever because memory alters and fades over time. And grieving people tend to create larger than life memory pictures in which they eventually either enshrine or bedevil the relationship with the person. But in those first few days, it's the most honest and accurate they'll ever be. So we say the sooner the better. The most exciting thing about the, uh, the personal workshop is literally watching people who have felt like they were stuck in the mud receive some new information that they never had before and to watch them kind of go, oh my goodness, for the first time there is hope. Grief creates a connection where we can find some common emotional threads that are really neat. Not that we have to be like each other, but then a respect and, and a dignity happens out of that. Dignity to me is a big word and in the personal workshop, what gets most enhanced is the dignity of individual unique relationships with people who've died or from whom were divorced or estranged. And, and, it, and it creates a whole new beginning for people to restart their lives.